This is a big hello to all the students, parents and friends of Home Grange School. My name's Nicola Anthony and I'm looking forward to meeting some of you this Friday as we will be running workshops at Home Grange. Now, I just wanted to share with you a little bit of behind the scenes before I meet you and I look forward to seeing you in person very soon. My name is Nicola Anthony and I'm a sculptor. I have art studios around the world. We're here today in my UK based studio in Bishop Stortford in Hertfordshire. I also have a studio in Dublin and I also have a, an art studio in Singapore where I used to live. My sculptures often take the form of text sculpture, which means that instead of using a line to create a swoop or a shape, I actually use a sentence. Uh, and sometimes instead of using colour or dots, I'm using letters. So creating shapes and images even with words, which will invite people to actually come in and look a bit closer at those stories. I find that as an artist, I can draw out those more, perhaps more vulnerable, more raw parts of people, which actually we all have in common. Trying to foster connections and um, compassion between people. When I heard about the opportunity to create public sculpture in Wokingham Borough, I was really intrigued by the fact that the, the open call was very much about human stories. It was about the whole borough and bringing that together and also a lot of thought about diversity and inclusivity which is another real passion of mine and that really just sparked my interest and got me inspired about how we could actually include a whole borough story which is quite a challenge um, as, as part of one sculpture. So this one is um, one, of the, one of the very first drawings I did and it's obviously a bit more conceptual, it's more about the feeling of, of going through the arcs and the echoing of those curved shapes Perhaps it might be the shadows or um, the, just the sense of going through this portal. This right here is the, the final, well, the current final model of the, of the sculpture. And this is what I pitched to Arts for Wokingham in the, uh, the panel interview. For this sculpture, because it's going to be owned by and for everyone in the borough, it is really important to me to make sure we've got all of the voices in there. So there is an online portal so that anybody, all public voices from the borough of Wokingham can become part of this sculpture. But I find it really important in terms of inclusivity and also breaking down barriers for people who might feel a little bit shy to engage or they might not um, feel like the opportunity is for them. So we've really specifically gone out to groups such as um, adults with learning difficulties, um, the blind and visually impaired community and taken the workshops to them to make sure that their voices are captured as well. These are some examples of the, the stories that are collected. So as a kind of worksheet at the end of each workshop and um, people have shared really very deeply and that then becomes, that's now on the online archive. So people will be able to scroll through and read the stories. And when all of those stories go together, we get this kind of epic poem about humanity and, and what it is to be alive and, and what it is to exist in this moment. 